Uh, the overview of uh, what we're doing out here, it's the uh, brigade walk and shoot. So basically all the battalions are gonna come through, do a rotation, a company at a time. Each company does, goes through three iterations. So they do a dry fire in the morning uh, just to get some familiarization with the lane. And the uh, middle iteration is their live fire for the day. Then they do a night live fire incorporating uh, illumination for both mortars and artillery. This is a culmination of a group of training events. Uh, the brigade can run all the way from the top fire missions and push them all the way down to the company level, down to the gun lines. And it's just more of a coordinated effort so the brigade can work, you know, more smoothly. Well, it, it, it's not very often that we have an opportunity to train like this. We're, we're training with a, a, a sister battalion. So uh, as with anything, um, if you don't exercise the systems, then it, it tends towards atrophy. It's good training. We got a lot of new guys who haven't done this type of thing. So it just gives you an eye opener. Of, we're not only handheld, you know, uh, when we get the base plate out, people start to lose their mind a little bit because they haven't really messed with it. So it's good training. Stick it! We provide help for the guys on the ground, so to speak, in a shorter term. And it's helping them maneuver on the ground. So I'm 11 Charlie, and we got 11 Bravo maneuvering. They need fire support to help them maneuver. So we basically cover their maneuver with our indirect fire. Fire! Uh, this exercise is extremely important, uh, especially in preparation for NTC. Uh, not only does it validate the uh, company command teams uh, exercising their call for fires. Oh. Rounds complete! All the way from the FO level on the ground uh, to clearance of fires all the way up to brigade. Uh, it's a great training event. We love to be here in Alaska. We love to support the community. We love the community to support us. And, uh, I like to just get out here and get after it. Oh.